Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, this is Jen Gianni, and we're going to be talking uh, again today about our tibia and our fibula and that interosteous membrane that's between it, trying to hydrate that, hydrate that so that as we take a step, as we uh, move into plantar and dorsiflexion, that we get movement between these two bones, right? It, it mirrors, in a way, the, the bones of our forearm, although we have much more uh, rotation and spiraling in the bones of our forearm, but we have a little bit through our tibia and our fibula. And if it's not happening, if that rotation isn't happening and the hydration of our interosteous membrane, then that impacts everything above it, like knee, and everything below it, like our ankle and through our foot. Um, so this is an important detail. Um, so we're gonna go with a release ball in this area, so if you palpate um, like right to the side of the knee, you'll find the top of your fibula. And so the ball is gonna go to um, the inside of your fibula and sort of the, the outside of your tibia on this line. Like if I were to kind of draw a line from my foot, it would be like at my um, fourth toe and up through my inner ankle to this area. Now, a lot of people can't get into this position. Um, so you could ask a friend to help you with this, um, just with their hands. You could do it with your hands. Um, uh, but for a lot of people, this is gonna be a hard position to get into, so just take care. Um, so I'm putting pressure down on my lower leg. And I'm really sort of in this middle portion of the, the outside um, of my calf. And then I'm going to hold it in one area. And I'm going to take my hand. I'm going to find the top of my fibula again. And I'm going to start to flex and point. And I'm wanting to feel a little bit of rotation at the top of that fibula. I want to feel some movement, some subtle movement at the top of the fibula as I point and I, and I flex. And then, of course, you can go to a different area, put pressure, and do that same flex and point. So that really got into that midline area. You can also use the double balls. For some people, this is more comfortable. It kind of cradles that outer calf. It's not as uh, pinpointed or specific as the ball uh, right in between the bones, but it still does the trick pretty well. And for, for a lot of people, this is just more comfortable. You feel like you can steady your lower leg more on it. And so with this, with the double tennis ball, again, you can find a pinpointed place that you kind of want to land, find the top of your fibula, and again, do that flex flexion and that plantar flexion. And again, you wanna feel that movement at the top of your fibula. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.